Hi, I'm Brendan Burns from Azure Container Service, and in honor of Kubernetes launching in Azure Container Service today, I prepared a quick video demonstrating some Visual Studio Code plus Kubernetes integrations that I've been working on lately. But what you see here is a pretty simple Node app, and uh, I'm a good you know, container developer. I've messed around with Docker a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna build my application into a Docker container. I'm gonna start by throwing up a terminal here we go. Uh, I'm going to use my git hash, obviously, to uh, describe the version that I'm running. That's a good best practice. So here we go. I'm going to build that image, and I'm going to push it up to the Docker registry. All right. So I've, you know, I've built my container image, but I've heard about this Kubernetes thing, and I kind of like to play around with it. Uh, and so in order to do that, I'd like to run this application up in Kubernetes. Well, I can do that as simply as saying, Kubernetes run. Right. It says a deployment's been created. All right, well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, what's this uh, deployment thing you're talking about? Maybe you could describe it to me. So let's we'll say Kubernetes describe. Uh, so what do you want? Let's say deployments slash simple node. All right. Oh, okay, so here we go. We have simple node. It's got one update. It's one available. Pretty cool. Um, that looks great to me. All right, so maybe I'd like to dive into that a little bit more and understand this API object exactly. Well, I can say Kubernetes load. Uh, I want to report deployments slash simple node. All right, well, now I've actually pulled the JSON for that object down from the server, loaded it up in an editor. All right, let's save that. And this is kind of a complicated thing. There's a lot of JSON going on all over the place. Um, maybe you can you know, help explain it to me. So we'll say Kubernetes, Kubernetes explain. All right, so now the explain API has been turned on. And now if I go over here, what we see is, oh, all right, generation is a sequence number representing a specific generation of the desired state. It's read only, great. All right, well, what I'd really like to do is scale up the number of replicas I have. Let's see if I can find that field. All right, the replicas field is here. It's the number of the desired pods, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna adjust that. I'm gonna make that a four. We'll save that. Now, um, all right, got this JSON object. How do I uh, make that happen? Well, let's say we can say Kubernetes apply. And now the deployment's been configured. Great. So let's try describing our deployment again. And now you notice it didn't actually even prompt for me because I'm inside this JSON object. It can actually figure out the object that I'm interested in. It's pulled the deployment again. You can see I've got four updated, four available. That's pretty cool so far. But you know, I beyond running my application, of course, I'd really like to expose it to the world. So let's try this. I can say Kubernetes expose. All right. And it's exposed the service to the world. Now, how did it actually know what port to expose that service on. Well, actually, it's introspecting the Docker file that I have here, and I've got expose port 8000 there in uh, the Docker file. And so when it chose to do the uh, service uh, that it's creating, it's reading that port, and it's uh, so it's integrated with the application definition that I've put here. So let's actually go and load that as well. So we can say Kubernetes load. I don't know, from services, this time simple node. All right, and now we see here, there's that port that it inferred from the Docker file, all right? And if we go over, I've got the Kubernetes proxy running. If I go to localhost, colon, 8001, API v1 services, oh, namespaces, services, eh, default services, simple node proxy, there's my simple app and it's serving right there. And you know you can see the host name there. And if we hit reload, you can see it's moving between the various uh, hosts using the service load balancer. All right, well, that's pretty cool now, but you know, obviously if I build an application, it's uh, only as useful as if I can update that application. So we'll go back over to my uh, app over here and I'm gonna say, hello world, this is a test for Brendan and KubeCon and YouTube. All right, so let's save that application. Um, and now I'm going to obviously go back into the terminal. I'm going to have, I'm going to, first I'm going to need to go over to Git, and we're going to actually, uh, first we're going to uh, save this service first. Save. All right. 
first things first, we're going to actually add our config files to version control. Of course, that's a good thing to do. So we're going to say added config files, commit that. All right, now let's add our application changes, app updates, commit that. All right, and now we're going to go and we're going to go back to our terminal over here. Let's get that new get described version. All right, so we've got a new version of our image here. We're going to need to build a new Docker image. So go here, paste that in. Great. There we go. We're building that up. All right, Docker build is done. Let's push that one up. Push that image up. It'll just be pushing the very last bit of code. So that should be a pretty small push. All right, it's out there. All right, and so now what we can do once it finishes pushing, all right, once we finish pushing, we can actually go over to our deployment here. We're gonna need to delete the resource version because of course that's out of date. Um, and then we're gonna go down to our image in our template and we're going to take the git hash that was there we're going to replace it with that new image that we have so let's save that and say kubernetes apply the deployment's been configured we can close that out and now if we go back over here we can hit reload and you can see here we are we've updated our application up on kubernetes and it's completed its deployment rollout all right. Well, I hope you enjoy running Kubernetes on Azure Container Service, and I invite you to come check out the Visual Studio Code and Kubernetes integrations. It's up on GitHub at github slash Brendan D. Burns slash VS dash Kubernetes. And I hope to see you all at KubeCon this year. Welcome to Seattle. Thanks.